Hi, my name is Paul Grogan and welcome to another Concordia digital playthrough. I noticed today that the new maps had been released, so I've got hold of them and I'm just going to be doing a solo game using the digital version, using the new maps. So let's jump in. Uh, this is not going to be a tutorial in any way. I've already covered that on the channel. So let's start a new local game, uh, create a new game. Now they are going to be working on lots of other maps and other stuff in future. They're releasing them bit by bit when they're ready. But for now, uh, yeah, the Byzantium and the Hispania maps have just been released. So we're going to be playing a game with Hispania, which is recommended for two to four players. And it looks like we've got 23 cities each and there are nine regions. Okay. Oh, there's no, 23 cities on the board and nine regions. So I think that means it might be a shorter game. I'm not sure. Um, right, let's click next. And we're using the base game. So Salsa and Venus are not uh, included yet. They are working on those. We're going to use the basic start. We're going to show victory points live. And off we go then. Right, so which is me? This is me, Caesar. So I'm Caesar, and we're going to be playing against... Let's play against two hard AIs today. So Agrippina and Marcus are my opponents. Um, that'll do. We'll just play a three-player game today and see see how it goes. Right. Start game. Yeah, so Concordia Digital came out, I don't know, a month ago, six weeks ago, something like that. I've covered the base game on, on the channel before, but as I say, the first time covering one of the new maps. Um, and, and it is just a different map. There are no new rules for this map. Byzantium and Hispania well, I say there's no new rules for this map. I'm not sure, actually. Maybe I should have checked first. Uh, where's the main menu? Are there are there rules? Oh, I think I might have gone back. No, I'm going to admit. Here we go. Rules. Are the other maps in here? Modules DLC. Base game. Yeah, I'm not sure. But I, I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. Uh, it might be in here. If it is in here, I've, I've missed it. Um... But yeah, I can't remember if there are any rules for Hispania, other than it is just a, di a different map. I should have got the physical game out and had a look. Anyway, right, let's jump in. It's my turn. I'm going first. And off we go. So let's just have a look around. Presumably, it is just normal random setup of the map. They've been making a few tweaks to this digital app. I thought it was good when it came out, but they took a, a lot of feedback and they've been making some tweaks uh, tweaks along the way. Uh, so let's have a look. What are we going to do? Well, we're not going to Tribune. We c what have we got in terms of resources? Remind myself where my resources are. They are down at the bottom. That's it. So I've got quite a few resources. Let's have a look at the, um, the offer up here. There we go. So yeah, I don't know whether I've got a particular strategy. I could go, because there's a Smith card there. That's quite expensive to buy, isn't it? Hmm. So yeah, we could open with a senator. I think we might do an architect. So if I do architect, I'm going to get two movement points. Where can I move to? Uh, what have we got? So we've got one brick. We've got a brick and a metal. We could build here. Could absolutely build here. But then, if I did that, I wouldn't have the brick and the metal to buy the smith card. Um, and then what we're going to do with the second one, because everywhere you go costs brick to build, apart from the food, uh, sorry, apart from the brick cities that only cost food to build. So are there two brick cities next to each other? No, no, there are not. Okay, so, yeah, we could build here. Because I kind of want to spread out between the regions for a couple of reasons. Um, so yeah, we could go here, move this from here to here, build brick. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to play architect. Um, and I'm always looking to improve. So if you are an expert at Concordia and you really know how to play, tell me, drop me a message, leave me some comments and uh, let me know if I'm, if I'm playing well or not. What colour am I? I should be purple. Yeah, so we'll pick up the purple guy. And we'll move him to here. Yep, done. And then we are going to build in there, which is going to cost me my food and one, so sturdy. And then we're going to build in there, which cost me my brick and my wine and forced it to so sturdy. That's it. 
There you go. And as I said, we got live victory points on you, so you can see straight away the effect that's had on my victory points. Right, Agrippina is copying my card. Going to there, going to there. Building in the same place. Marcus is copying my card as well. <laughs> Clearly I've played a popular card for turn one. Right, okay, so they've both built in here. Interesting. Now I'm thinking we could do the prefect in here. Betisa, Betica, uh, wherever that is. Well, southern Spain, isn't it? Um, because that will get me a wine, a wine, and I don't have the Prefectus Magnus card, so it would just be two wine. But that's pretty good. Um, or I could do with getting some brick, because then if I get some brick, I can buy the Smith card. Um, and that's going to get me points for every metal city that I'm in. Although I didn't, I decided not to build in metal cities in the end, didn't I? Um, okay, let's let's do the Prefect card, and we are going to Prefect in here. I think you just have to click. Yeah, okay, so produce in an active province or take money. So produce in here. So that gets me a wine for my city and another wine because that's the token. So I should get two wine from that. And you can see here, yeah, I'm getting two wine. Okay. Mercator, buying cloth. Selling brick. And then a prefect there. Okay, back to me. Back to me. So we got the wine, and we don't necessarily need the wine. So this is where the Mercator might come in handy. Because um, I can sell the wine for quite a lot. Although there's a nice prefect there. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to Mercator. Or Mercator. Mercator, Mercator, however you pronounce it. We are going to sell the wine. I'm going to sell two of it. Tick. And then we're going to buy... Well, we're going to need bricks, aren't we? We definitely need bricks for other cities. So I'm going to buy some brick. And I need at least two. But I also want metal for when I play my... Um, what's it card? Tribune. So I can build a colonist. Which costs a food and a metal. I think I might just buy two brick. Yeah, we'll buy two brick. Okay, so Agrippina is producing there. That got, that got me an extra brick. And Marcus is prefecting... And he's taking the money. Right, okay. So, back to me. Uh, so all of the cards have been reset, so I could take two more wine. But I think we might build now. So I'm looking at either building in a metal city or a cloth city. I've only got nine money. Could build there. Yeah, I could totally build there. Because then, when this produces... And I think Agrippina might be producing in here because there is metal there. So I think I'm going to architect. I can't architect. I don't have an architect. Oh, all that planning. What about this? So I could buy the smith. I could totally buy the smith or the diplomat because I've only got one metal, so I can only buy that. But I could also buy this colonist as well. That's quite a good card. I do like that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's play the senator. And let's buy the smith, which is going to cost me a brick and a metal and something else, which will be another brick. Okay. And I also want to buy another card. Is it going to let me buy another card? I don't want to click the tick if it then... Yeah, that's end turn. I need to go back. So I need to click on Smith and Colonist. There we go. Uh, and now it's done it. There you go. Two extra cards in my hand. Agrippina has now played Architect. Excellent. Which means... I can now Diplomat the Architect. Although I now only have one brick left. So, <laughs> actually... 
That's not going to work out. Right, so we've got this colonist card, which basically is place new colonists or take five money plus one per colonist. Yeah, so we've got a brick left. We could Tribune to get all our cards back or we could Prefect. But Prefecting now is actually not that great, is it? I could Prefect down here for another couple of wine. But Yellow's going to get a wine as well. Hmm. Do we just Tribune to get me cards back? Then again, if I'm getting me cards back, I'm getting me cards back so that I can play Architect. I can play Architect right now. That isn't the problem, because I can Diplomacy the Architect. So actually, I think I do need to Prefect. Right, where are we going to Prefect? Well, I think it's got to be here. That's the best place for me. So I get three wine. Oh, because I've now got the Prefector's Magnus card. Awesome stuff. Three wine. Right, there we go. Clang. Yeah. So I've got a couple of brick now as well. Cards have been bought. Right, so now we can start building. Although I only have nine money. I could build here. Brick, wine and four money. Have we got any Mercator cards out? We don't. So... Yeah, so I can't build because I haven't got Architect. I can only copy. That's a Prefect card, isn't it? So a Prefect card and a Senator card. Is there anything for me to buy with a Senator card? Oh, there is. I could buy that Prefect. Yeah, let's do that. It's only buying one card, but that's fine. So I'm going to Diplomats. I'm going to Diplomat the Senator. And we're going to buy this. And I don't think we're going to buy anything else because I can't afford it. No, nope. you see it's greyed out the resources to show that I don't have them. So that's quite nice. Done. Makes me feel so dirty using a Senator to only buy one card. It's like... Ugh. Right. So, what are we going to do? Are we going to carry on playing? We've got nine money. We've got two brick. We've got two wine. I could prefect. Um, that's already gone. That's already gone. I'm nowhere else. I mean, the other thing as well. There is a there is a tactic where you can actually prefect on just a random place, anywhere on the board, and you'll you'll get the good for it. Um, but I don't think I want to. I need to get metal and food so that I can play this colonist and build loads more colonists. And then my Mars cards are useful. Let me just have a look at my current scoring. Where's my scoring? Scoring. Here we go. Um, so I have two Jupiter cards. I have one Saturnus card. Two Mercurius cards. Two Mars cards. Is that two Mars cards? Yeah, two Mars cards. Sorry. Three Saturnus cards. Now that's the one that gives me points for the different provinces. So I want to spread out as much as I can. And I want to maximise the Mars cards. And I want to build in the metal cities. So, yeah. Uh, so much I want to do. I'm trying to eke it out to get more points from the trib uh, more money from the Tribune card. I mean, I could play the Colonist now. It gets me seven money. That's not bad, is it? Yeah, let's play Colonist. So, I can't do that because I haven't got any. So I'll take seven money. There you go. Nice. Oh, he's got the good Mercator. Right. Back to me. I mean, I could Prefect and take the money. There is how much money on offer? It's only three. And I think you can see that here. Yeah, active provinces. And then you've got your inactive provinces. So yeah, it would only be three money. If I was to... Um, take money. So I think it's going to be the Tribune. Which is a shame because I'm not going to be able to build the colonists. Because um, I don't have the food and the metal. So I just get my cards back. Get a bit of money. And then that's me done. Right. Spreading. 
Okay, so what's the plan now? We are still, we got more money, so that's good. Uh, there's still no cards we can buy. That's the card I want, if I'm going to be going with a, a wine strategy. Although, green, Marcus is already in there. Wine is kind of spread out. Uh, it's going to have to be Mercator, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to have to be Mercata to sell the stuff that I don't need in order to buy the stuff that I do need. So Mercator, we will sell the two wine. And we're going to buy metal. Now, how much are we going to buy? I definitely need one for the city. I need one for possibly another city. I need another one for a colonist. And I need another one for a colonist. Yeah, that should do. That's probably way too much. That is probably way too much, because I, I probably only need three. If I build in two of them and then play the Smith card, that will produce two more metal. So three is probably enough. Okay. Ah, it's played a Mercator, which means I can copy it. Where's my diplomat? There's my diplomat. Because I'm going to need the food as well, but I don't want to sell anything. <sighs> right. Is there anywhere where I can build metal cities next to each other? Yes. Can I get there with my ship? No. Mm. Oh, that would be beautiful. That would be nice. Now, I could go here, and that would build in that one. Uh, oh, no, that doesn't reach either. Oh, I could go here. I could go here and build in that one. That's going to cost me six. And then my boat could go here, and that's going to cost me six. That's going to cost me twelve. But I'm already in that region. I'm not in that region. I kind of don't want to be here. This would be great. Just don't have the movement points to get there. How are we doing with these cards? Anything I can buy? No. So. Again, I could always prefect. But prefect's not looking good for me at the moment. I think everybody else is going to get more stuff. So we will go with architect. We'll go with Architect. We will move this one to here. And this little boat to here. Okay. And then, after the movement is done, I'm going to build here, which is expensive, and here, which is also expensive. Okay. Clang. Another colonist. Yeah, good move. Prefecting over there where nobody else is. So how are we doing? Oh, five, it says there. Right, okay, so straight away I know that I'd get five money if I chose the other option of the prefect card. Um, so I think we're smithing now, aren't we? That will get me two metal. Not bad. And then we need to mercator to get the cloth, uh, the food. Okay, done. I'm hoping one of those two is going to play Mercata so that I can diplomat it. Oh, you passed me the Perfectus Magnus card. There you go. Nice. So I will diplomat. And we are going to copy the Mercata. And we're going to sell the metal. Now, I think we're just going to sell one, and we're going to buy the food, and we're going to buy two food. Do I need more? I think I possibly do. Four food? Yeah, four food will do. So yeah, it doesn't look like there's any additional rules for this map, it is just a variant map. Right, my turn. Oh, I've miscounted. I meant to build two colonists. I didn't want to sell two metal. Right, so I've messed that up. Um, in which case, I'm going to prefect. Now, where am I going to prefect? That's the thing. Um, this place over here. Leviston. That has still got the flag there, but... My opponent's going to get more there. And here... Green's going to get all sorts of stuff. Oh, in fact, I can't there. Yeah, well, I'm going to prefect anyway. And 
I don't want the six money. I need, I need the stuff. So, it's basically saying where I can produce, where I would get stuff. And it is going to be here. Right, let's hope nobody else prefects because <laughs> I'm all full of resources. My warehouse is full. Yeah, he's producing. Oh, he's producing there where I'm not anyway, so that's good. Right, okay. It's fallen in. I'm going to play colonist and I'm going to build four colonists. There we go. Let's get them all on the board. Now, is it in your cities? Oh, it looks like it is. I can build wherever. Well, I don't, I don't know now. <laughs> let's build a C1 there. Uh, let's build a land one there. Let's build another land one there. And let's build another C1 there. That's everything, isn't it? One, two, three, four. Yeah. Right, boom. I've got all my colonists out. I think I built two there. Right, so now when I architect, I've got loads of movement points. And my Mars cards are now worth a lot more. So I definitely want more Mars cards. Let's have a look here in the offer. There, there's a Mars card. So I want that one, because that's worth 12 points to me, that card. Um, yeah, so to buy that, I need food. And then at the moment, cloth. We can't do anything with Senator. We could Tribune. Um, I could Prefect. How much money is... Oh, no, he's already taken it. So I could... Prefect. Is there somewhere here? This is cloth, but he's there. Oh, he's got everywhere. Yeah, the AIs are on hard, and I'm not that good at the game. So, hmm. Tempted to prefect. I mean, I can't senator, and I don't really want a tribune. I think it's going to have to be Prefect in here. He's going to get me two wine. And that's it. What about this place? Where is that? That's here. So he's basically saying, I'm going to get a brick and a metal. I'm going to get a brick for this city. And I'm going to get a metal because that is the... No, I shouldn't be getting a metal. I should be getting a cloth. Oh, I'm getting a metal for this. Yeah, so I get a brick, a metal and a cloth. That's not too bad, but green gets a brick and a cloth, and yellow gets a brick and a metal. But I get the cloth. Let's go for it. Okay. So I've got some good resources. Are you going to buy the card I want? No. Right, let's have a look at the card offer. There is two left in the draw pile. I cannot buy this card yet because I need food, but I do have the cloth. So, is it going to be Prefect time again? I don't think it is. I think it's going to be Tribune. Yeah, I think it's going to be Tribune. Just get some money. Can't build a colonist. Done. Okay. Buying three wheat, selling two brick. Copying that. Yeah, it's a good card to copy. Buying a wine, selling four wheat. Right, my go. So, what exactly is it that I'm trying to do? I kind of wanted to build in more metal cities, didn't I? Now, where are the metal cities? There's one down here that I can build in. But I probably need some more stuff in order to build in more than one. Um, so I'm tempted to save my smith for now. I'm, t I'm, I'm considering playing Mercator and buying. If I buy another brick and another metal, I don't then have enough to do what I need to do. It's going to have to be. It's going to have to be Prefect. And it's going to have to be. 
here, because that gets me two metal. Okay, and then I just need to buy some brick. But I'm not going to have much money, am I? Because that's the thing, with six movement points, I can spread out all of my colonists everywhere, and then I can build literally in as many places as I, as I can, but I don't have the money. Uh, I mean, I only need six money to build in those two, and I only need one more brick. Hmm. I could play the colonist card to get loads of money. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Play the colonist card uh, to take 11 money. Nice. Okay, right. And with that 11 money, I will be buying some brick and I'm going to build in as many metal cities as I can. Now, how many metal cities are there? There's one up there. So I'm going to need three brick and three metal because I'm in that one. I'm in that one. And I'm not, there's three more on the board. So I'm going to Mercator. I'm going to buy three brick. Is that going to be enough? Well, it's certainly enough for what I want to do right at the moment. Let's have a look at what we might want to do soonish. Any other Mars cards out? No. There are some Saturnus cards out though, which are quite nice. It's going to take wine, wine, and something else. Now, brick is the cheapest resource, isn't it? 12. That's going to leave me with 13. Is 13 enough? Yes, I need 9. Let's buy 4. The thing is, I'm about to play Smith, and Smith is going to give me 5 metal. Yeah, this might work. Okay, done. And I'm not going to sell? Or do I sell the cloth? I might as well sell the cloth. I can always buy it back. I've got loads of money now. Right. Nobody mess up my plans, please. Oh, I just got a wine. Nice. How are we doing for endgame conditions? We're okay. Nobody's built anywhere near the 15 buildings. We've still got some cards left. So, here we go, the big move. Architect. Right. So first of all, this ear boat is going to here. Okay. And then this ear colonist is going to... Um, yeah. Have we got any other movement left? No, that's it for my movement. And then we build in there, there, and there. Now that leaves me two brick and a wine. Can I build anywhere else? Um, no, I should have gone there. That's fine. I mean, I'm in five metal cities. Now, Matt should jump up my points quite a bit. Let me just have a look at my points. Because I have the Minerva card. So we're three points for each metal city. That's given me 15 points. Yeah, nice. Although Agrippina is still ahead of me on points. But yeah, I've specialised in metal production. So now when I play the Smith, I basically get five metal. There you go. Ta-da! which I can sell for a huge profit. Might be time to buy some more cards. Because cards are points. Oh, I was thinking about it. And there's nine money available if I, uh, if I prefect. So brick and wine, I can buy that. Wine, I can't buy that. Well, no, I can buy that if I don't buy that. That, metal and something else. I can buy that. So I could buy these two cards. Well, that's pretty good. I probably should. Senator. Let's buy that one and that one. Uh, we will pay in brick. Okay. Agrippina is still ahead of me on points at 95 and has just bought two more cards. 107. 
Yeah, time is running out. There's one card left in the pile. So we are pretty much in the end game now. And... Yeah. Don't think there's that much that I can do. Let me just check the points. I've got all my colonists. I've got all of them. My Saturnus cards, I'm in six different provinces. And I've got four Saturnus cards. So every, every additional province that I get into is worth extra points. Um, but if we have a look at what who we've got here. All I've got is metal. I haven't got anything other than metal. So we could... That's a Mercator card, isn't it? No, that's the Architect. So it, it's going to have to be Prefect. Now, Prefect in Africa would be... There's cloth. I mean, what do I need to buy that last card? Because that's not going to get me much. No. Uh, I mean, I always enjoy this game, even though I don't do very well. So, am I going to Prefect? I mean, I could Prefect here. Or is that, is that this area? Yeah, I think that's this area. So I'd get a cloth and a metal. Hmm. Trying to work out where I would get the most. And it's probably Prefect to get the nine coins, which is really rubbish. That's like, what, one point? That's not really going to get me anything, is it? But... Yeah, let's go for it. Let's reactivate the provinces. Um, so yeah, take the nine coins. Yeah. Oh no, Marcus is beating me as well now. <laughs> right, my turn. There's still cards left. Uh, they've both prefected, so maybe I shouldn't have um, reactivated the provinces. I don't need any more metal, but I do need... So I can, I, can, I can build in one more metal city, but there isn't any more metal cities. I'm building all of them. Oh dear. So yeah, Diplomat, Prefect, or just Prefect on my own. What am I going to do with the Prefect on my own? That's the problem. Because um, there isn't really anything for me to do. So I'll, I'll Tribune. I don't know at this stage. Kind of like, I want to do something that gets me 20 points, and I don't know what it is that I can actually do. Yeah, there you go. The last card has been bought. So Marcus has got the 7 point bonus for completing the last card, and now is basically my last turn. Well, that's rubbish, isn't it? What am I going to do? <laughs> Um, I don't think there is very much that I can do. I can't really architect because I can't build anything else. Mercator is just swapping my stuff around for money, which is no good whatsoever. Um, colonist is more money, which will be worth a point. Smith is probably worth most because I'll produce five metal, which will be converted to points. So I think Smith is probably the best one. It seems crazy. But it's true. Well, at least I think it's true. Look at all that metal. <laughs> well, what a rubbish game I've played here. I'm curious as well, for those people watching this that are um, Concordia experts, obviously I'm playing on a different map today. Do you have to adopt different strategies on the map, or is it just a slight, a slight variation? Um, do you go into games on this map in a, in a different way? So here we go, we're selling all of our goods at the end. That's going to get me a few extra points. So that's my score, 94, which is not a winning score. There you go. We are done. So that is a playthrough of Concordia Digital using the new, or one of the two new maps. So what they're doing, as I mentioned at the start, is they are releasing the map packs and all of the other stuff for Concordia um, gradually over time as, the, as they develop it. And in fact, if you look in, because I've got the season pass, so it says that I own Salsa, I own Venus, I own the fish market. They're not available yet. You can't actually play with them yet. Um, they will release them, as I say, once they are once they are up to them. So when you try and click on it, it says, yeah, it's, it's not featured yet. But anyway, we are done for now. 
Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed to the channel. Uh, and please consider supporting me on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules as your support helps contribute to me making more videos for the channel. So a big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters for funding the channel. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.